Tune into Nice Radio every Saturday at 7:30 a.m. for A View from the Outside, hosted by Brayton Horn. A View from the Outside takes a look at key issues affecting St. Vincent and the Grenadines and gives a global perspective on how these issues are viewed. Host Brayton Horn will examine a variety of topics to enlighten, stimulate debate, and explore solutions. Hear the facts, hear the real life stories, hear a view from the outside. Join Brayton Horn at 7:30 a.m. every Saturday on Nice Radio for a view from the outside. On a view from the outside this week, this week being the 11th of July, 2020. We look at Capeless Heroes, C-A-P-E-L-E-S-S-H-E-R-O-E-S, Capeless Heroes, with the view being that it is time that all of the Capeless Heroes of St. Vincent and the Grenadines are recognized and acknowledged for the Herculean work which they do on a daily basis to keep St. Vincent and the Grenadines on its legs. On the online dictionary, dictionary dictionary.com, capeless is defined as without a cape, and the Cambridge Dictionary defines cape as a type of loose coat or clothing without sleeve that is fastened at the neck and hangs from the shoulders. And the Merriam-Webster Dictionary defines hero as a person who is admired for achievements and noble qualities. From those definitions, it can be deduced that a capeless hero is a person without a cape. The definitions tell us that that person, that capeless hero, is one who is admired for his or her achievements. The definitions tell us also that a capeless hero is admired for his or her noble qualities. Capes are usually associated with comic characters and are usually worn by both superheroes and villains alike. For example, Batman and Robin, Batgirl, Superman and Supergirl, etc. The capes of those comic characters are meant to supposedly give the characters powers to perform their good or bad deeds. In the case of a capeless hero, there is no need for any accessory such as a cape. They perform their duties without depending on any purported superpower. They do so without seeking glorification. They do what is necessary and they usually go beyond what is necessary, especially in a crisis to save lives and to ensure that life is worth saving and ultimately living for those around them. It is no doubt that it is with those qualities of a capeless hero in mind that one of the leading soca artists in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, James E.P., composed the lyrics and performed the song entitled Capeless Heroes. The song is a dedication to all those frontline workers, the doctors, the nurses, the carers, the cleaners, who selflessly perform their duties at a time when the coronavirus COVID-19 wreaks havoc around the world. James P. in his inimitable lyrical and melodic style expresses appreciation for those capeless heroes. He said, and I quote, shout out to the capeless heroes Just know we appreciate you. Reaching out to the unsung heroes, we pray that God protect you, guide and protect you on the front line. Risking your life to save mine, working overtime to give us peace of mind, giving all you've got to keep us alive on the front line. So we take our hats off. We salute you, every one of you, unquote. We here on A View from the Outside make no hesitation in joining James E.P. in shouting out the capeless heroes. And we too express our deep appreciation to all of the capeless heroes. We too say, just know that we appreciate you. 
Bearing those lyrics in mind and the mood of that song, we, on a view from the outside, find it rather ironic and somewhat laughable that at a time when the capeless heroes are being recognized and saluted for their selflessness, the leader of the regime and its members in St. Vincent and the Grenadines have resorted to fancifully branding themselves as superheroes dressed up in capes, seemingly to give their parents that they are here to save the day. Well, they have been in power in the country for almost 20 years now, and it is incomprehensible to most that they now say they want to save the day. It is clear to many that most Vincentians, both at home in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, and those in the Vincentian diaspora are laughing at them. Many say that they are more like villains rather than superheroes because their neglect, wreckage, and destruction are all visible everywhere up and down the country. Many believe that they are trying their best to stay in power, not for the benefit of the people of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, but with the sole aim of protecting their dynasty and their empire. It is because of that general belief why we here on a view from the outside call upon all Vincentians, all of our Vincentian colleagues, wherever you are, to recognize and acknowledge the Herculean work of the capeless heroes of the country, not just those referred to by James E. P. We call upon you to recognize and acknowledge these capeless heroes, acknowledge what they do on a daily basis to keep St. Vincent and the Grenadines on its legs. Recognize and acknowledge all the sanitation workers, the doctors, nurses, mental health workers, social workers, police officers, teachers, security officers, fisher folk, watchmen, etc. Those are among our capeless heroes of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Let us show appreciation for them. Recognize and acknowledge the farmers who stay in agriculture, despite the knowledge of uncertain or no markets for their produce, and despite the knowledge that their produce or livestock can be stolen without them having any redress, irrespective of their being prey their loss in the laws in the country. Those farmers are among our capeless heroes. Recognize those who in the face of victimization, oppression and repression in the country, brave all to speak up and speak out, to express their disapproval of the mediocre and deplorable schools, clinics and hospitals around the country. Those who refuse to sit in silence are among our capeless heroes. Dr. Michael Goodluck, who literally is on the front line saving lives, was fearless when he pointed out the mold infestation at the Milton Cato Memorial Hospital in Kingstown. He is one of the capeless heroes of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Recognize and acknowledge the parents who, in the face of a dead economy, where employment has now become a luxury, have been forced to depend on a twice yearly road work to maintain a home and keep their families going. Those parents who have to scrape to send their children to school in circumstances where the regime has grossly underfunded the book loan scheme, which was generously started or initiated, pioneered by the previous leader of the opposition, Arnie Mustas. Those parents who have to pay VAT on coconut and callaloo, those parents are among the capeless heroes of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Recognize and acknowledge the huge percentage of those unemployed and those who continue in the face of unemployment to keep their families together with pride and dignity. Those are among the capeless heroes of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Recognize and acknowledge those who are humiliated and considered to be outcasts by the regime, yet 
they stand up for the rights of all Vincentians. Those are among the capeless heroes of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Recognize and acknowledge those in the Vincentian diaspora all over the world, including those who have been labeled as dog walkers and babysitters who keep the Vincentian economy afloat. Those who contribute to their families and friends without making a broadcast of it. Those are among the capeless heroes of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Recognize and acknowledge those who are determined to rid themselves of the plantation mindset and the plantation economy, the kind of plantation economy which Lloyd Best wrote about all of those years ago. Those are among the capeless heroes of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Recognize and acknowledge those on the front line, including Luzette King, Susan Duncan Adams, Weena Roberts, Sharon Ince, Monica May, Clorith Badnock, Tisha DeBeek, Marissa Edwards, Claude Bascom, Ramoth Oliver, Guy Lowe, Robert Patches Knights, Pat Warner, and all of those other dedicated men and women who are determined to see justice in our electoral process, where elections are not stolen by those who engage in fraudulent electioneering and banditry. Recognize them for having shone the spotlight on the dilapidated state of the General Hospital in Kingstown and other ills around St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Those are among our capeless heroes. Recognize and acknowledge those who withstood and continue to withstand the daily battering from the regime, its members, its agents and enablers, and continue to stand up for democracy. Included among those are Douglas DeFreitas, the proprietor of Nice Radio, and his family, who, despite harassment, arrests, threats of court cases and actual court cases, continue to stand firm and keep the medium for opposition going. Included among those is our own Ferran Dopwell, Randy D, who has withstood the test of time and victimization, who has put his life on the line during a protest to save protesters, who remains a voice of hope and who continues to stand up for justice and particularly for social justice for all Vincentians. Also included among those are Marlon Butte and the members of the Facebook group, The Movement, and all of those others on social media, in groups or individually, who are disparagingly referred to as internet crazies, but they are intent on demanding accountability from the regime on behalf of the people of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Also included amongst those is Travis Harry, one of the returning sailors, who is intent on standing up for democracy and for the rights of the people of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Those are among the capeless heroes of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Vincentians, we, on a view from the outside, encourage you to look around your village, look around your town, look around your community and recognize and acknowledge the capeless heroes around you. Recognize and acknowledge your capeless hero, the one who is there for you in your darkest hour, the one who is there for you in your time of need. Vincentians, do not let them mess with your minds. Do not let them try to hoodwink and bamboozle you and tell you that you need a superhero, because you don't. Leave them to dress up in their capes. That is for the fanciful. It is for the comic books and for the comic stories. They have failed the country, and no amount of them dressed up in their ridiculously looking capes can retrieve the dire situation which St. Vincent and the Grenadines is currently in. They crush you and your families for four plus years following each election. And then when election is near, they come again with lumber, cement and galvanize to try to entice you 
to vote for them. They come with foreign artists such as Busy Signal to get you to jump and wave and to forget their hardship and pain for four plus years. The regime, the villains, have their knee on the necks of Vincentians. They have trapped you, leaving you with little or no prospects, with totally unsatisfactory health care, with no freedom of expression, or freedom of expression being stifled and curtailed. They have left you with infinitesimal economic growth for years, with little or no opportunities for the ordinary Vincentian to flourish. They have left you with no independence and with a syndrome of complete dependency. Vincentians, we on a view from the outside implore you to remain capeless, remain the capeless heroes and ensure the survival of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Turn your backs on the villains and salute our capeless heroes. Ensure that all in St. Vincent and the Grenadines live and not just exist. Remain the capeless heroes and ensure that St. Vincent and the Grenadines breathes again. And as you do that, we encourage you to also join James E.P. and shout out and appreciate all the capeless heroes of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. And remember, it's okay to also shout out and appreciate yourself as a capeless hero also. And as you do that, as you do your shouting out to the capeless heroes, bear in mind the words of the late American civil rights activists and heroine Maya Angelou, who said, and I quote, I think a hero is any person really intent on making this a better place for all, unquote. Vincentians, let us all recognize and acknowledge our capeless heroes. Randy and all of the listeners, until next week, this is Britton Horn with a view from the outside, with a reminder to send your feedback as usual to a view from the outside at hotmail.com. We also invite you to visit and like our Facebook page at a view from the outside. And also visit and subscribe to our YouTube channel at JMB Horn. Have a pleasant Saturday, everyone. Have a wonderful Sunday and have a productive week ahead where we all make the effort, we make every effort to recognize and acknowledge our capeless heroes, not the bogus ones purporting to be superheroes in their ridiculous capes. All the best to you, Randy, and the listeners.